Hey everyone, Zayf here and welcome to Battle Talent Overview. I've heard about it a couple times if it's on Reddit or on SideQuest, like a bunch of places. Mostly because anything related to Gorilla Tag or Blade and Sorcery, people can't shut up about it. So I've seen a couple stuff in terms of mechanics, I never played the game myself. But it's coming from SideQuest, App Lab, all the way to the official store, so kudos to you. So Battle Talent is a physics based roguelite, oh shit, it's a roguelite, damn. Also I need to learn the difference between roguelike and roguelite, like why those two terms are so similar yet so different. It's essentially a sword fighting game where you just hack and slash through procedurally generated dungeons using a huge arsenal of weaponry available to you and survive the epic boss fights that you've never experienced before. The last words are pretty interesting to me because it's very easy to compare it to Blade and Sorcery though. I would more say it like a sort of gargantua, <laughs> now that's dead. So it's not just gonna be like a sandboxy combat situation, which is pretty much why I have a gripe with this genre overall, that there's no real goal to play it. Battle Talent seems to be going in a different direction, so that might suit more to my taste. I mean, some of those movements in the trailer are rather intense and not necessarily something I've seen before. Even though the whole project will be set in combat, it kinda feels fresh because it's going full in into the RPG and fighting with everything that's moving around you. The graphics seem fine, at least for a physics game. At least it's not some boring arenas that don't change over time. So it's pretty much gonna go down with the mechanics and how the engine works because every single one is different and some might excel at one but be completely garbage in the other. You just have to try it yourself because it's a matter of being there and reacting to what's going on. So let's see if we have talent. Use the right joystick to rotate. Use the left joystick and wave your arms to run. I think this is the first time we have a voiceover in the tutorial. It looks nice so far. I mean, better than Britain so see which <laughs> anything will be. Wave hands while walking to run. Some jogging. Some weapons have ability. Point your finger at the weapon to read the description. Point your finger to the target, then press grip to summon from distance. Jesus. Destroy all bottles using your weapon's ability. Okay. Weapons, abilities, trigger, skill bar, pressing trigger. Holding down the trigger button to charge your weapon and swing it quickly will increase the range of your attacks. Oh yeah! To repair your weapon by putting it into your holster. Lock the attack three times. Interesting. The UI is kind of like out there. It's not layered, I feel like, properly because this health bar is outside of the actual environment. So it's like I'm looking through textures. Your soul seems to be connected through a machine. No wonder my ritual can teleport you here. This is the Talent Temple. 
This used to be the place where the heroes practiced until, and I am the guardian here. Now that the world is shrouded in darkness, I need you to reactivate the power of the temple. Come over to the stone bridge now. It's like a main menu. Yeah, with the patch notes, credits. This tablet will show your talent. To unlock these abilities requires experience points. The number is just above your health bar. Gaining experience points requires going through brutal battles. After activating the ability, it will also be effective in other realms. Get ready before you get into battle. Okay, that's pretty cute. When calling a weapon, if the spin is high enough, then it will spin again. Wrench weapons with laser sight. I mean, I'm not sure for now. Laser sight is always welcome, I feel like. But I don't know what's wrenched here. Like, do we have a bow? We'll see. Maybe later. So this is like this rogue like RPG element. This tablet will show you the areas you can go to. Now you need to go deep into these areas to find the lost artifact. And reactivate the power of the temple. Everything except the artifact will not be brought back. Go ahead, and I'll teleport back before getting a fatal attack. I think uh, I need to get a weapon though, no? Or is it gonna spawn? Ah, oh, okay. Maces, spears, falcons, long falcon, ranger sword, roman sword, arming sword. That's a lot of collision, but I just need to see the variety of weapons because I need something very much suitable in length. I could see this, but like, you know, there's some weight. And this is see faster, so I think I'll take Falcons. Yeah, just give me a couple. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Grab and keep pulling trigger to start. I don't like shields, but I'll keep it just in case. I'm mostly curious about the parrying and stuff like that because this seems pretty new. Okay, well, you can give me this. Can I deflect this? Oh! I 
need to hit it earlier, I feel like. Because I'm literally in the moment where it hits me. Or maybe just move. I can like maybe deflect it to him. <laughs> I'm just testing things out. <laughs> Let's just take it seriously. Oh, he's too small. Try harding yet, but this seems like a nice combat so far. <laughs> That's not fair with the bombs. There we go. I'm trying to wait for the attacks and see how the powering works. Nice, like I'm kind of like speechless because I'm very much used to physically combat based blade and sorcery scenario. But this feels very proper. I'm playing around like I'm not taking it seriously. of witnesses has opened. I can feel the temple connecting with you. So far it's nice. Like, that's kind of what I expect from physics-based genre combat. A ball would be nice to see how that works, but... Let me grab this laser sight thingy. It feels like cheating. Every single time it's available in VR, but if it's available, then it's not. Huh. 
How that would work. It's directly from this, okay. And a dagger, just in case. But it's still arenas, I mean, I'll try to walk around. I mean, this laser sight is not helping me. I think I can't go there. Wow. <laughs> I think I would pass on the bow in this game. I think it's not like it's not accurate, but I see clearly this is not the point. No bomb sell out. Okay, well, I guess I deflected. <laughs> Another enthusiast of dual building. Damn. Oh my god. I like the movement as well, like it's something that I would not expect. And the armor actually protects. But that's interesting, like replenishing the durability in you. I think I need to start to be more careful. How about Swyhinder? Oof, this a workout though. I see what's happening and I very much like it. I thought it's gonna be more exploratory, like I can't go there, it's a spawning point. Maybe in the beginning it's like that, but so far it's pretty nice, like everything is interactional. There's like dismembering. Give me this leg! There is, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> there are some perks to upgrade, so it's like you can have some oof, paths to get better. It's definitely slow at the start and it's probably gonna get more complicated later. <laughs> I 
But there's some fun stuff going on. I will see if it's like worth to be a playthrough, cause it seems to like a combat arena based stuff. I'll think about it and maybe we'll get back, but I kind of like it. The graphics are nice, the mechanics are nice, the physics are correct. It very much seems like an upgrade from Blade and Soul 3, though we'll see if there's like more to do overall.